when I went to work there. I didn't breathe walking up that ramp. And I got to the place right there at that corner, you know, that where Judy and Vaughn were shot. And then they go in the library and there's still bullet holes. And you can still see the blood stains. So I never walked up that step without remembering. And then going to the prison, I had not been around people who would come in to me and tell me about all the things they had done, and some of them were, were very horrible crimes. Prison life was a world unto itself. Mind-numbing routines, grinding loneliness. And I had to, to deal with people who were nothing as far as religions go. When I first went there, we only had six people attending service in a big chapel that seated 300. I didn't have an organist, didn't have a choir. I always believed that music hath charms to soothe the savage beast. Well, I had a bunch of beasts in there, so I just decided that, you know, I would just start a music program. And the word got around. So here these musicians started coming up to me and said, I want to join the choir. One of them was a, a backup singer for Don Ho. Another one was a, a former Supreme Court justice from Texas. And he could sing like an angel. They became so good that at Christmas of the first year, the director asked us to come across the street and sing for their Christmas party. And the walls came tumbling down. Well, no convict had ever been out of the walls. Some had been there 10, 12, 25 years. The walls are high. I picked out four guys and put them in robes instead of the prison whites that they all got. They handcuffed them and shackled them and sent four guards over with rifles. The warden was standing there at the door. He said, now you boys behave yourselves. And they just laughed. And when they unlocked that last gate and let us out into the street, they looked around and it was just, it was just like they had swivel necks. And you know, they hadn't seen trees, they hadn't seen cars. But they were like giggling kids. through singing there were tears in those people's eyes and the director he came up and he said you know, I don't know what to say about this I want you guys to stay here and eat all the cookies you want and get all the drinks you want they went and ate and ate and then we went back out the front and went back across the street. <laughs> 